One, two. Mixing and mashing and stirring it up. Baking and quaking, we tearing it up. Keep your head bobbing and you might get some. There ain't no stopping cause we fill with love. Luscious Beats is two females that both rap, sing, harmonize, uh, improvise, and dance routines. Yeah, we do dancing, <laughs> lots of dancing. <laughs> two females with like two strong energies coming out there, just like spreading positivity and inspiration yeah. with their music. Uh, yeah. Percussion, live vocals, emceeing, and DJing all mixed into one. And the show. ladies. And the ladies yeah. represent for the ladies. Can we get the brides up, up in the front. Yeah, let's get those brides up here. The styles of music that we play at this point incorporate everything from hip hop to dance hall to reggae to house to funk. Um, and then we throw in our original tracks as well as all of those genres, which, you know, are luscious at this point, undefined. I'm like a chameleon um, when we play different shows. But we try and play a little bit of everything for our audience and our crowd. And yeah, it's like a big dance party. Above all, it's like, it's our influences, what we love, what inspires us, and then with our original stuff mixed in. Yeah. Yeah. Body break and moves, you gotta get in tune the music that we do. We do it just, just for you, cause it's like your beats from the inside. Come to make you up, make it feel so right. You got the vibe inside. You and I can feel this night. Not only has it done amazing things for each of our own individual um, musical skills, you know, for Melissa with her percussion and me with the DJing and the singing and the rapping, but it's also taught us a lot about ourselves and just dynamics within two women and how <laughs> you can take that energy you know sometimes when it gets crazy and just bottle it all up and do something amazing with it and you know write some song that is just like geared towards women and feeling confident and loving yourself and yeah. then go out on stage and you know do that and watch how it affects people and it's just amazing like you'd be so surprised how many women come up to us after the show and be like those thank lyrics you. thank you like you, you know that was amazing thank you so much yeah yeah so it's done a lot of amazing things Growth. Growth. <laughs> <laughs> I play percussion with Luscious Beats and I sing. But my percussion setup, I've been studying for like 12 years, just playing pretty much anything that I can hit with either sticks or my hands. What's your setup right now? It's got uh, three congas, but I want it to be four. Um, two bongos, we got Hand Sonic, electric drum machine, and I got this fabulous percussion tree. And the newest addition is new rototoms, which is like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then there's me, and I just got my CD DJs and my mixer, so I'm doing all the cuts and everything and effect and all that, and then we just have our mics. We also play with uh, a loop pedal and a vocal effects That's thing, cool. so um, we're using, like, you know, different echoes, and, and I can sample my voice and be like, lit, 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 It's called Beat We're evolving. Thing. We're only at the beginning of the... Of the instrument tree. Yeah, baby. Melissa's been in her other project for 10 years now, Wasabi Collective. Basically, how we met was when I was 16 years old, I came to the Wild Nectar, which used to be this little open mic jam that was hosted by her and Bisto um, down in Nelson. And I would come out and I was like a young little underage girl and just like so inspired by Melissa, just watching her perform. And you know, she's such a this powerful woman on the drums and everything and I would like literally just annoy the crap out of her <laughs> after and be like oh, oh my god I love Let's you you're so amazing like please let me sing with you you know I want to work with you I want to work with you and 
you know, time passed and I graduated high school and then I left and then I came back. Then she approached me and she's like, let's do this. I have this time. She wasn't touring with Wasabi. She's like, let's do this. I want you to DJ. I'm going to play percussion. Let's write tracks. Let's do this. And it was literally like a month of writing and dancing and in the sun. And then we just toured and it's like, and it hit, neither it of us, you know, neither of us had any expectations of how long the project would last or what would happen with it or where we'd go. And all of a sudden we're like, okay, been to LA and back and <laughs> rocking it and feeling amazing. So yeah, yeah. yeah it was really, it was really cute. It was you know? something that wasn't ready at the time when she was really into it. Yeah. And we needed to both like grow and have things happen, life changing experiences and boom, the second it happened it was supposed to be. Oh. And that's where patience comes into. So we were patient and the project is what it's supposed to be right now, you know? And yeah. go over to a producer's house and you know I could come up with some little ditty you know or shop through their beats yeah, yeah I mean like sometimes there's a producer that'll just give us a beat that they've already created and they're like here you go do what you want with it and you know for us in the beginning that's that's what we took we took whatever we could we even found random beats that we didn't even know who made it or what where it came from but we're like okay we're just gonna <laughs> sing on this and, and see what happens people mostly think about what they need and why it's so much green it needs to be like poppy poppy you know like yeah you know, write a track on someone else's beat, take that to a producer, get them to reproduce all the music for us and make it into our song. So yeah, the two of us will just vibe off each other, start improvising. You know, like, we'll hear it, we'll start going. Yeah, Miss Day, what you trying to say? of Jurassic 5. You guys know who that is? Yeah, you do. Check it out, our new album. And then Newmark too, like when we went, he kind of even helped us write the lyrics. He wanted a feeling of the lyrics. Yeah, so. sometimes it's a collective thing and sometimes it's just like, okay, we have this hook, let's do it. Some boys that try to peel us down, but we're not just for bacon. Yo, me and Fresh Fresh, one bite and you'll be shaking. At the end, we're coming with a positive attitude and that, that will make us shine out. And we don't want to change because someone tells us we're doing something wrong. We want to just keep doing what we're doing. We're just bringing this, this love and this light and this energy with our music. We're doing this for other people to make, to inspire other other people to light up other people's eyes in the dance floor yeah. you know we want to be able to survive off being musicians for the rest of our lives and just you know keep recycling and getting new stuff and working with different people and collaborating like it's there's so many possibilities it's just crazy yeah yeah big goal ah.